A lady in a man's world, breaking boundaries, fighting against discrimination and the tension between Islam and the Western world through art. As an artist, most people already know how their pieces are going to end, but that uncertainty keeps you more motivated. Her passion and the idea behind her pieces carries more weight than words. I had the impression that it was just old people that usually go into art, but for someone at um, Anissa's age, it's... it's um, in fact, I've changed that impression now. It's really good. Um, I think it's a very good first step. It's a very good, um, she's becoming a very good role model for um, young Nigerians and her peers as well. So I think if they're going to do something, not necessarily in the art department, maybe in other things, be really good. Although the turnout is seemingly high, but those present here realize that thinking out of the box through creative art is a great alternative to solving youth unemployment in the country. Uh, if we support the creative industry, we are going to be a better people and we'll be better off for it in that it is a multi-million dollar industry that can complement the revenue of the country. People tend to copy what they see and what they're seeing is not really a variety, especially in Nigeria. So it's very important for younger people to come out and show what they can do. We are getting into a world of entrepreneurship, so a child needs to stand on his or her feet to be able to take care of uh, themselves. So it's the most welcoming thing anybody can do for any child. In a country where the potentials in the creative art is largely untapped and youth participation is on the increase, art enthusiasts are optimistic that Nigeria will soon get rid of youth unemployment if the Nigerian youth embrace entrepreneurship. She may